Hey guys, welcome back to Random Things. I just recently ordered a uh, Garvin Wilderness Expedition Rack for the 97 through 2006 TJ. And uh, it just came in the mail, so I'm going to be opening it up and installing it. And showing you guys how it comes. Alright, so when you order the rack, it comes in two big boxes. So you should be getting this one big one like this, and then one tall skinny one. So right now I just opened up the big skinny one. And it looks like... It's just uh, all the crossbar pieces that go inside the basket. So now I'll be uh, opening up this one. So on the big box, the way it comes is uh, it's like two separate boxes and they have it, they have staples all around. So you have to pull these big staples out and then you can lift the top part off to open it up. So the best way to do that is uh, I just got a little pair of pliers. You go to each staple and you just pull it out. And then you have to do that all the way around and then you can pull the top off. Alright, so we got all the staples out and we were able to just slide the top right off. So you can see they package every piece that you have to put together. They package individually and they wrapped it all. So you can tell uh, the company did really nice packaging. So you know none of it's going to be scraped or even when I opened up the crossbars, each crossbar was wrapped in a way where it wasn't rubbing against the other one. So you know none of the paint on anything's going to be messed up. So they, uh, Garvin Wilderness really did a good job keeping everything all together and uh, making sure it stays in good quality all the way until it gets to you. So I'm going to have to take off each of these out individually and unwrap everything. There's more boxes inside, zip ties holding everything together. So they did really good at keeping it all nice and neat. So I pulled these two big pieces out of the box and everything's all wrapped together. It's one big piece so you can just pull them both out. And then I went to pull the, these two boxes out and I realized they actually stapled these boxes to the to the box as well so so they won't be able to move so I'm just gonna have to pull the staples out real quick to get these out so we got everything unboxed and uh, so looking at it if you're wondering where the directions were, were while unboxing it looks like they're gonna be right here so connected to uh, this bar all wrapped up inside the foam it looks like these will be the directions if you're looking for that. So right now I'm going to open that up and start looking at what has to get put together first. I'm guessing I'm just going to put the basket together first before we mount it to the Jeep. So here's all the hardware they give you. It's nicely separated all for you. Label what each pack is. So uh, first I'm going to put together the rack. So I'll be using this pack and it also comes with a uh, some Loctite, which is pretty nice. So you'll know those bars will never come off. So I'll be doing that right now. All right, so first with the rack, you're gonna wanna get the two ends and the two sides, put them together like that. And then you're gonna go to page six, and it'll tell you everything, how to do it. And then here's the pack with all the bolts. And there's gonna be two you're going to be doing two on each end, each corner. So then once you get all that done, then you'll be able to do the crossbars. So once you get the edges of the rack put together, then uh, you have to get the crossbars. It comes with seven crossbars, so then you have to space each one evenly, kind of measure it out, and then uh, bolt it down yourself individually. Um, it comes with Loctite, so you want to put that on each thread before you bolt it down so make sure they're where you want them to be because uh, if you're going to be off-roading you don't want these vibrating loose and then these fly off so you got to use that lock type that they, it does come with that and that's the rack now that the rack's done we just got to install it on the jeep now so now that this is all out of the way we're just going to be doing the the rest of the install pieces and putting those on the Jeep so then we can 
toss this up there and hook it on. All right, so we started the installation of the roof rack. First, we had to take off the license plate holder. And uh, when I took it off, I had four holes in the body, so I just put some clear silicone in each hole to plug it. Because the rack has a license plate holder on itself, so now we're, uh, you have to drill a total of six holes. So now we're doing the measurements for those. So we just put blue painter's tape so we can draw out the measurements on it and uh, get those holes done. So we're gonna be doing that right now. So we got all our measurements made. So we're gonna be, you have to drill two holes on the top on each side and then one hole on the bottom because the brace is actually gonna go in between the body mount and the tub and then uh, the hole will drill into the frame. So we're gonna have three on each side. So we're gonna drill those out right now. Right, and the holes are drilled. So now you have to take the two rear body body mounts off, take both bolts out on the rear ones, and then the three ones on each side. This one, this one, and this one you have to loosen on each side. And then the rear one on each side you have to take the bolt out. That way we can slide these plates up in it. So we got the brackets wedged in there. We just used a, uh, all we had to do was put a pry bar right here, pry up the body, wedge that in, wedge that one on in. So now uh, you still leave the body mounts uh, just loose until we get everything tightened down. So we're just gonna tighten those down and put all the supports in now. And that's what we're gonna do. So we got the back finish, we have the supports on, right here, right here, that's where the license plate will go. So this rack, it does tilt, so to make it tilt, you just gotta take this bolt out, and this bolt out, and these will act as hinges, and the whole thing will tilt back. Now we got the front brackets put on. All you had to do is just get a twerk socket and uh, take out the three bolts from here and put this on and then it has new bolts that it came with and just get those on kind of loose now we just got to put the rack up on it all right so we got the rack up so it's going to take at least two people to lift the rack up and it's pretty hard to do but once you get it on you set it on a you set it on all four points and then have someone hold it and then have the other person go get the brackets and put them all in so the bolts will kind of hold it in loose so then it, you just got to put all four brackets in and then tighten them all down and you'll be good and then once you're done so the rack's done just make sure you tighten double check everything's tight and then you can put your license plate on that's where the license plate holder is built into the rack So if you don't know already, the this Garvin rack can actually tilt back so that you can take your soft top on and off. So to tilt it back, you gotta take out the front two bolts. And then once you take those out, you come to the back and you take these out on both sides. And then the whole rack will tilt back because uh, the bottom part will act as a hinge. So the rack actually comes with two of these. So it's for when you tilt the rack back, you'll kind of, you'll put it in here. So when, this will be unbolted when you tilt the rack back. So you'll, you can, you'll stick this inside the, the mount right here. And the other end will stick in here. 
so someone doesn't have to stand here and hold the rack while it's tilted these will hold it for you and it comes with two of them so you can put them on both sides that's pretty cool so you just keep those inside your uh, jeep unless you know you're never going to tilt your rack back then you'll just toss them or put them inside your garage So this is it, the rack is finished. It took about five hours. We did have some breaks in between though. And I'm very happy with it. It's a lot better than any of the cheaper racks that they have in the market. They have the big like three inch tubing on the sides. This is low profile, has a four inch basket. Looks way better. Eventually, might get a rooftop tent to put up there. But I'll be doing a... I'll have another video coming out soon, a review on it. So stay tuned for that.